Ramsey-Hunt syndrome is a neurological disorder caused by the reactivation of the varicella zoster virus, the same virus responsible for chickenpox and shingles. This reactivation targets the facial nerve, also known as cranial nerve 7. The condition presents with three primary symptoms, facial paralysis, ear pain, and a vesicular rash near the ear or mouth. These features distinguish it from other causes of facial nerve dysfunction and require us to recognize it promptly in clinical settings. The symptoms of Ramsey-Hunt syndrome are distinct and often debilitating. Patients experience facial paralysis, which manifests as weakness or drooping on one side of the face. This can make it difficult for them to close one eye or affect taste sensation in the front two-thirds of the tongue. Another hallmark is a painful rash, characterized by erythematous vesicles. These blisters appear in approximately 80% of cases and are typically located in the ear canal, on the auricle, or within the oral mucosa. Ear-related symptoms are also common, including tinnitus, hearing loss, sometimes temporary, sometimes permanent, vertigo, and hyperacusis, which is an increased sensitivity to sound. Additional symptoms may include dry eyes due to impaired blinking, headaches, and dysarthria, or difficulty speaking, stemming from muscle weakness. The underlying mechanism involves the varicella zoster virus, which remains dormant in the body after an initial chickenpox infection. In Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, this virus reactivates within the geniculate ganglion of the facial nerve. The reactivation leads to inflammation and subsequent nerve damage, disrupting normal facial nerve function. This process is more likely in individuals with weakened immunity, such as older adults or those who are immunocompromised due to illness or medication. Understanding this viral behavior helps explain why certain patient populations are at higher risk. Diagnosing Ramsey-Hunt syndrome begins with a thorough clinical assessment. The combination of facial paralysis, ear pain, and a vesicular rash strongly suggests this condition. To confirm the involvement of the varicella zoster virus, polymerase chain reaction testing or nerve conduction studies can be employed, though these are not always necessary. It is important to differentiate Ramsey-Hunt syndrome from Bell's palsy, another cause of facial paralysis. The presence of a rash and ear pain typically sets Ramsey-Hunt syndrome apart. Accurate diagnosis hinges on recognizing these distinguishing signs. Effective treatment requires early intervention. Antiviral medications, such as acyclovir or valacyclovir, are administered to combat the viral reactivation. These are often paired with corticosteroids to reduce inflammation and improve nerve recovery. Pain management is another key component, as patients frequently report significant discomfort. For those with facial paralysis affecting eye closure, protective measures like artificial tears are essential to prevent corneal damage. Starting treatment within days of symptom onset markedly improves patient outcomes. Ramsey-Hunt syndrome predominantly affects adults over the age of 60, though rare cases have been documented in children. In the United States, its incidence is approximately 5 cases per 100,000 people each year. This condition accounts for about 7% of all facial paralysis cases, making it a notable subset of nerve-related disorders we encounter in practice. These numbers underscore the importance of considering this diagnosis, especially in older patients presenting with facial weakness. Recovery from Ramsey-Hunt syndrome varies depending on the timing of treatment. When therapy begins promptly, many patients regain significant function. However, Delays can increase the risk of permanent nerve damage or complications, such as corneal injury from prolonged eye exposure. In some instances, the condition presents without a rash, a variant known as zoster sign herpet, which can complicate diagnosis and lead to under-recognition. This highlights the need for vigilance, as untreated cases may result in long-term disability. In summary, Ramsey-Hunt syndrome is a treatable yet potentially serious condition driven by the reactivation of the varicella zoster virus. Its impact on the facial nerve produces a recognizable triad of facial paralysis, ear pain, and a vesicular rash, though variations like zoster sign herpet remind us to stay alert. Early diagnosis, confirmed by clinical signs and supported by testing when needed, allows us to initiate antiviral therapy, corticosteroids, and supportive care effectively.
with an incidence of 5 per 100,000 annually and a higher prevalence in those over 60, this syndrome warrants our attention in daily practice. Prompt evaluation and management can mitigate the risk of permanent damage, improving outcomes for our patients. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.